Hey all, Viking River here again with another ranking video. This time, one of my favorite metal singles of all time, and a metal legend, a metal god, Dio. His solo stuff. Let's get this started. Number 10, Angry Machines. Yeah, for me, this album is pretty unforgettable. I just don't feel this one here. Does anyone else get a prog and industrial vibes from this? Number 9, uh, I have this album, just don't know where it is. Lock Up the Wolves. This is mixed amongst fans. I personally do not care for it. I find this album is way too long and a little bit bluesy. There's just not enough. Um, the only song I did not mind from this one here was Wild One. Number eight. Master. Pardon me. Master of the Moon. This is this is the last Ronnie James Dio solo album. Rest in peace, man. Still fucking missed to this day. I don't mind this album here. It's got some catchy stuff. Stuff on this one here is Dio's vocals to me, they were still strong at this time. Uh, favorite song is One More for the Road. Other songs I did like were Master of the Moon, The End of the World, Shivers. I think that song is just amazing. The Eyes, another killer song, and I Am. Number seven, another album I have, but I just can't find the damn thing right now is so. This is number seven, Magica. This is this is Ronnie James's concept album. It this album it took a, it took time for it to grow on me, but it is a good album. Favorite song from this album here is "Losing My Insanity." It's a great song. Number six, "Killing the Dragon." This one it just grabbed me the right way from the minute from the first minute I bought this and I listened to it. It was just something about this album here that's what happens you sometimes you find a freaking album that you listen to it just grabs you the right way this is another good album here favorite song is the title track killing the dragon other songs i did like from this here was a long Kim long comes a spider scream better there, better in the dark guilty and threw away the children number five. Oh boy now we get going now on to the my favorites i well you're all good except for two of them uh Strange Highways, pardon me, I just lost train of thought for a second. Number five, this was Dio's return to his solar career after leaving Sabbath again. This is a very good album. Uh, this uh, Finney Apache also left with him. Favorite song is Evolution. Other songs I did like were Jesus, Mary, and the Holy Ghost. Strange Highways, great song. Hollywood Black, another song I like a lot. One Foot in the Grave, Give Her the Gun, and Here's to You. All great songs. Number four. It for me is Sacred Heart. I find from all their classic albums from the 1990s, this is the one that is mixed with fans for some fucking reason. I enjoy this album. There's a lot of great songs in this album here. Maybe if it didn't hit you the first time, hey, try it again. Favorite song is the title track, Sacred Heart. Other songs I did like were uh, King of Rock and Roll. That is a great song. Another Lie, uh, Rock and Roll Children, another great song. Like the beat of a heart, uh, fallen angels and shoot, shoot. Number three, oh, wow, dream evil, great, great album. My favorite Ronnie James Dio's cover. Just, just a look at that album cover. That is fucking amazing. And Dio signs sounds in fine form. This one here, there's not one bad song. Favorite song from this album here is is the title track, Dream Evil. Other songs I did like were Night People. Uh, Sunset Superman, I think, is an amazing song. All the fools sa sailed away. Naked in the Rain, like I said, they're all good. I could have been a dreamer. Every song in this one here is great. Number two. Last in line. Edged out Dream Evil for me. How do you follow up from a killer debut album? Eh? How do you do that? You make another killer album. This is just an amazing album here. Uh, favorite song is We Rock. Other songs I did like were The Last in Line, Breathless, A Speed at Night, uh, Evil Eyes, Eat Your Heart Out, Egypt, the, uh, Egypt, the, the Chains Are On. Just amazing album. All the songs are great, actually. We Thieves to number one. No surprise. Holy Diver. All-time classic. This is Ronnie's first solo album after leaving, after leaving Sabbaths. The first time after they had a split, must own for all metal fans. It still stands up to this day. It's got a great flow. The range of Dio's vocals on this were just incredible. Favorite song is Holy Diver. And all the other songs, look at this, all these other songs are just amazing. So that's my top. Let me know what you think. 
Uh, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, and stay fucking heavy.